Area Addition Postulate and Area of a Parallelogram, we're at 10.1b. So we have one previous video for Chapter 10 that you can find in the description in the Geometry Playlist if you need it. Here's something for your notes. The Area Addition Postulate says, the area of a region is equal to the sum of the areas of its non-overlapping parts. So the area of this blue parallelogram is equal to the area of the two triangles and a rectangle. A rectangle with base B and height H has an area of A equals BH. So the area is equal to the base times the height. We can use the area addition postulate to see that a parallelogram has the same area as a rectangle with the same base and height. We can cut off a triangle from one side and translate it to the other side. So I can take this triangle right here cut off from one side and I can just translate it like this to the other side. We have the same area but now we have a parallelogram. See? The area of a par parallelogram with a base B and height H is A equals B times H. And the height of a parallelogram is measured along a segment that is perpendicular to a line containing the base. So we actually have a base 1 and base 2 here, don't we? Each of these can be considered a base. So if we have a line that is perpendicular to either of the bases, we can use that as our height. Both rectangles and squares are parallelograms. They both fit the conditions of a parallelogram. We learned back in 6.3a about the conditions of a parallelogram. And the area of a square with side s is area equals s squared, side squared. And because the definition of a square is that all the sides are the same, we can just do side times side for our base times height. And the perimeter is P equals 4S. All the sides are the same. We just do 4 times whatever the measure of the side is. We can find the measurements of parallelograms by using the Pythagorean theorem to find the height H and then use H to find its area. So using the Pythagorean theorem, we find H so we can see there's a base here that's 6 inches. If we extend this out to make a line perpendicular for the height, we have a 3-inch extension here. We can see there's a hypotenuse for this triangle of 5. So we have a 5-inch hypotenuse and a 3-inch leg. We do a squared plus b squared equals c squared. We want to solve for b squared as h squared. So we subtract a squared from each side and we get b squared is equal to c squared minus a squared. So that means we have h squared equals 5 squared minus 3 squared. And that's just 25 minus 9, which is a 16. We remove this two exponent by putting a radical sign around the 16 and the square root of 16 is a 4. So we know h equals 4. Now that we have that, we can use h equals 4 to find its area in square inches. The area is equal to base times the height. We know the base was 6 inches, so it's going to equal 6 times that 4, which is 24 inches squared. The area addition postulate says the area of this parallelogram will stay the same no matter how we rearrange these parts, as long as they're non-overlapping. So I could take this triangle and I could move it over here and make a big rectangle. I could even take them and go like this and make the shape of a house. It still has the same area. Doesn't matter. If we cut this scaling triangle into three pieces, we can rotate the two top triangles to form a rectangle with the same area. So I can take this little piece and just rotate it around like that. And I can take this piece and I can rotate it around like that. Same area as the triangle. 
We can use algebra to find the measurements of a rectangle. The height of a rectangle in which B is equal to 5 centimeters and the area is equal to 5x squared minus 5x centimeters squared. Well, the formula for the area of a rectangle is the area is equal to the base times the height. We can see what the area is, so we set that for A. And our base is a 5, so we have 5x squared minus 5x equals 5h. Now we can factor out 5 from the expression. And we get a 5 times x squared minus x equals 5h. If you don't remember factoring from last year from Algebra 1, there's going to be a link in the description to the Chapter 6 play playlist. It's a short little Chapter 6 playlist for factoring. It might be a good idea to go back and review it if you can't remember. So now we can divide both sides by this coefficient 5, and we get a 1h, and we have x squared minus x equals h. And we, re can, we can rewrite it using the symmetric property of equality, so we can flip it around and put the h on this side, equals x squared minus x centimeters. We can find the perimeter of a rectangle in which the area a is equal to 12x feet squared and has a height of 6 feet, so h equals 6. And using the area and height to find the base, we get 12x equals our base times that height 6. We can divide both sides of the equation by a 6 and get that 2x equals b. Now we can use the base and height to find the perimeter. So our perimeter formula is p equals 2b plus 2h. We know b equals 2x, so we have 2 times 2x plus 2 times 6, that height. We distribute this and get 4x plus 12 feet for our perimeter. Our next lesson is going to be 10.1c, the third part of 10.1. We're going to talk about the area of triangles and trapezoids. After that, we're going to talk about the area of rhombuses and kites, and we'll be finished with 10.1. So again, if you got lost on the factoring, check the description and give yourself a quick review because it's only going to help you as you move forward if you need to factor. And now you know about the area addition postulate and how we can move a parallelogram around as two triangles and a rectangle. I hope this was helpful. Please hit the like button for me. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you next time. Have a great day. Bye.